High Glen residents say that they are shaken from the recent violence, and business owners tell me that safety concerns may be part of the reason that they're noticing a dip in tourism, and they hope that something can be done about it. Hollywood residents are rattled after a man was shot and killed outside their high-rise building. I was pretty shaken. It happened near Argyle and Selma Avenues around 7 p.m. It's a beautiful like area and it's just sad that it seems like that it's going down and it's like it, there's got to be a solution to this. Police say the victim who was in his 20s or 30s got into an argument with the shooter near the W Hotel. The shooter who was on foot fired several rounds at the victim as he tried to drive away causing him to crash. Police say the suspect left in a white Mercedes Benz. It's a sad situation. Uh, it's a lot of violence around here now. A lot of stabbings. Um, I actually, where my apartment is, you can see down on the street, and there was a man walking around with a knife a couple nights ago. There's concern about violence among residents. Last week, in a separate incident, two others were killed in Hollywood. Officials announced that the suspect in that incident was arrested in Hesperia. I am concerned with every violent crime that happens in Hollywood, each and every one of them. Being the area captain in Hollywood, it's my responsibility to deal with these crimes and try and prevent them with the goal of making people feel safe. Mike Huberty with American Ghost Walks organizes tours for visitors. He says one of his guides was attacked. We had a day in January where um, one of our guides ended up being attacked by someone on Hollywood Boulevard. Huberty says business has slowed down and thinks crime and pandemic related concerns may be to blame. Sometimes you get the response of like, Oh, yeah, um, I, you know, I don't want to hang out there after dark. And so we, that is something, that is some feedback we've definitely got uh, about the tour, which is unfortunate because 99% of the time it's perfect and it's great and people love it. LA City Council member Mitchell Farrell, whose district includes the Hollywood area, sent a statement that read in part, we recently approved a city budget for the fiscal year starting next week that hires several hundred police officers to meet attrition rate. Live in Hollywood, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.